Another way to get into that upper back area between the shoulder blades where it tends to get pretty tight because we're down in this position on the bike or even through the swim and the run, we want to open that back up so we have good space and range of motion through that area. How to do that is you can use two trigger point balls that can be taped together like so, or you can use what's called a peanut ball, which is this here. So it already has a built-in spacer between the two ends of that ball. So where we're going to place this is we're going to start at the upper portion between the shoulder blades. That spacer goes over top of the spine and we're going to work down to the bottom of the shoulder blades. So just through that area from the top of the shoulder blades down to the bottom. To start, we're going to sit down on the ground, place that peanut ball again just between the shoulder blades at the top of that top border of the shoulder blades there. And you'll take your hands and wrap them around like you're hugging yourself. That will open up the space between your shoulder blades, allow that peanut ball to sink in. You'll place down on, relax the head down. And as you start to roll on the ball, taking a nice big breath in as you relax out, just allowing yourself to sink further into that ball. To add a little bit more pressure here, you can bridge the hips up slightly, and that will add a little bit more pressure into that ball. The next position to add a bit more pressure is to take the hands, you can reach them right over top of the chest. And down. And lastly, to open up a little bit more, you can put the hands behind the head. And relaxing those elbows down. Again, lifting the hips up more adds more pressure there. And last position is lifting that head right up. And as you exhale, just doing a little more pressure into that ball. So you can go up to four minutes with that particular mobilization. You want to test your range of motion after you're done.